So I want to tell you very quickly how to make an assay tube. So we have two tubes that you have to be thinking about. One is the culture tube with E. coli in it. Oops. And the other is the assay tube. Both spec tubes, by the way. So while your experiment is going on and you have E. coli in your tube growing away, you, are, you have an assay tube that you've pre-made, which has one mil of assay buffer plus SDS plus chloroform. So that's sitting on your bench ready to go. Now the, when you're finished with the, your experiment, you're going to take the OD600 one last time of your culture of E. coli, and then you're going to put one mil of the E. coli culture into, the, into your tube and vortex. Vortexing is critical here because we're breaking up the E. coli and we want to do that equally and, and consistently between tubes. So we're asking you to do a five second vortex and to be pretty consistent about that and be thinking about it. One Mississippi, however you do it. So now that you've lysed these cells with chloroform SDS in the lysis buffer, so that the beta gal is very happy in this lysis buffer, or in this uh, assay buffer, um, you can let this sit at your bench and the beta gal is pretty stable. So you can wait, get yourself uh, collected, wait for room in the water bath. When you're ready to go to the water bath, you need to add the one last thing that you, to measure, and that is the ONPG. So we're gonna add 0.4 mils of ONPG, and that's gonna go into our tube. And we're gonna vortex again, and then we're gonna put it at 30 degrees C in a water bath. What you're going to do is wait until the uh, tube that you think is going to have the most beta-gal, actually, um, you watch the tube that you think will have the most beta-gal, and as you're watching these tubes and they turn slight yellow, you would want the, to stop all of the tubes at the same time, and so you're going to be adding sodium bicarbonate as a stop buffer, and we use one mil of that. And so one mil of sodium carbonate goes in, sodium bicarbonate, and you mix again, and that will stop the reaction. Then you're ready to measure this tube in all of its uh, various absorbances. So you have an OD600 of the original culture, and then you'll take an A420 and an A550 of this tube. All right, that'll give you your assays, and then you can plug into your handy-dandy equation and get Miller units on the way out.